Yo, what is up, Crocs and Clan members and others who have stumbled upon this video? My name is Soros and Crocs, and today we're going to be doing a um, rant slash comparison video. Um, I get into arguments with people sometimes about this subject, so I'm just going to do a video about it and get it over with. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so as you just saw, this video is a comparison uh, rant for anime versus cartoons. Um, now, uh, I've decided to make this video for one reason only. Uh, I do get into a lot of arguments about the subject. And I don't remember who I was talking to recently, but uh, when I started talking about anime, they just you know, straight said, oh, you're watching cartoons. Because um, that's what, something that's happened throughout my life. Because I've like anime for like a really long time now and anytime I say to somebody that I like anime the first thing and I'm not joking unless they watched it before the first thing they say so you watch cartoons and I'm like no yeah I watch anime so this video is sort of a comparison of the reasons or what I see makes the two different uh, just kinda to not continue this argument, you know, just say it in the video. Um, so the first thing I do want to point out, uh, which is to me the most important difference between anime and cartoons, is character development. Straight up character development. In anime, you see this all the time. In every show, the main character and some support characters always get some form of development. Throughout the series, they will evolve, they will increase. Uh, and their abilities, their strengths, whatever, they will get better throughout the series. Cartoons don't do that at all. Like, uh, cartoons, um, they, the characters stay the same all the time. Like, uh, one thing that cartoons always do is that, uh, which is going to bring me to my next point, cartoons are episodes, plots only. In an anime, there's an actual story that's prolonged. It's a, it's a plot that's set through certain episodes, uh, and quite a few sometimes. Um, in cartoons, what I noticed is there's a story that begins at the beginning of the episode, and it ends when the episode ends. Sometimes they even reset, because since characters don't change in cartoons, Either at the end of it, it's all back to the way it was in the beginning, or it's just never, like, whatever happens in that episode is never heard from again. Um, unlike anime, where if something happens in an episode, it will stay in the memories of the characters. Uh, for example, like in Naruto, which is in the, in the thumbnail, when Asuma died, he's still dead. He died, and he's dead for good, like, gone. Um, when Jiraiya died, he's dead for just forever. Um, oh, well, technically, when he gets, you know, reanimated, then he's sending it a lot. But my point is, something happens in an episode, it will stay in the past, but it will also, it will be in the memories. So, it, ha it did happen. Well, as, whereas in cartoons, if anything happens in a cartoon, it's stuck in that episode in an infinite loophole where it will never get out. So, um, the characters are just stuck in this this set specific standards, which is something that is kind of a positive and a negative because since cartoons don't age, they don't change. You can continue this pattern. You could just make more and more and more and more and more. But the problem with that is that at a certain point it's going to get repetitive, which is going to lose, you know, your audience is going to lose interest. Um, you know, because you know, cartoons can go on forever since they don't change. Which, you know, in anime's perspective, yeah, there is a specific set amount of episodes, you know, that the series is set at a certain point. You you can't go past this point because there's just no more you can do for them because since the characters do age and the characters change and evolve and develop throughout the episodes, 
there's only so much they can reach to you know to their maximum potential. So you're you're, you're there, but th there's always something new to expect, you know. Um, with an anime character, you can see them grow. And I gotta say this, I feel more connected to anime characters than to cartoons, because yeah, they're both unrealistic in a lot of ways, like excessive amounts. But I see cartoons as even more out of out of this world than anime, because at least the back, you know. When you see this character, sometimes there's certain characteristics that they have that you just kind of connect with. So then you let you, your your attention is with that character, and then you follow him through the series, and you can actually see him grow and how he changes. And you're like inside yourself. You can just sort of feel like you're with the characters. In cartoons, you can't do that because it's, there's no character. Like, there's no um, human sense inside them, you know, in my opinion, yeah, uh, there are some of the older, you know, adult cartoons, I guess you could say, you know, like Family Guy and that stuff, which technically, they do have some personality, but like, but the thing is, the cartoons, since they're based around comedy, you can't really take them seriously, whereas in anime, even though they are comedy-based anime, they're still personality and characters you can see like they, they shine above the comedy you know um also another note i do want to say this cartoons are way too unrealistic they're so unrealistic sometimes that what happens in their world doesn't even make sense for that world um which is weird because if you create a world centered around something you, you can't put something in that world that doesn't fit with anything else um which, you know, I don't know, like, I don't see that as making sense. Because in anime, if something's in the world, it has a purpose in that world. Um, uh, also, you just, I don't know, like, when something happens to a character in a cartoon, even if it's bad, I don't feel anything wrong with it. I mean, I, it's supposed to be funny in my, you know, in... Uh, you know, some episodes, I have to say, you know, uh, which cartoons do do is, you know, they'll have, like, a specific episode which has some life lesson or uh, there's some, you're supposed to feel certain emotions. Um, but there's just specific episodes, and since it's just for that episode, and it never, you never hear from it again, it, it kind of doesn't make sense. Granted, I have noticed that recently they sort of, connect like they they mentioned something that happened in a previous episode to connect it with the current episode but it's not as extensive as you know anime because all the episodes are connected you know so i don't know it's just something that i've noticed um i don't know i just feel like to me i would prefer to live in an anime world than a cartoon world also there is the character designs like I am a crappy drawer, I will admit it right now, I am probably the worst drawer in this world, but I would have an easier time drawing a cartoon character than an anime character, because to me, anime characters, it looks like the, the creators put so much time, effort, and just this depth to these designs, whereas in cartoons, they're, easier, they're easy shapes that you can recreate. So, uh, I don't know, I just feel like a lot more work is put into making anime than to a cartoon. So, I mean, I like both. Don't get me wrong. I, I can watch a cartoon every once in a while. But it's, you know, the animes that always draw my attention. Um, so, yeah, I guess, I mean, that's just my thoughts, my comparisons of the two. Uh, if you have a different opinion, you know, put it down in the, in the comment section in the description. Or with a video response, that's always, you know, welcome. Um, if you haven't seen my unboxing of my two new games, uh, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, thank you for much, so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, Soros and Croxon out.